Hello everyone, myself Oswin and you are watching Oswin YPC. Uh, Alright, welcome back to my another tutorial video of fixing your MacBook. Now today we are going to talk about an extremely serious MacBook problem that no users wants to encounter on their laptop. But before we do that, please tap that subscribe button so you don't miss out any future updates. Now coming back to uh, today's topic, like I said in this video, we'll be discussing one of the most uh, common issues that is when you see the folder with the flashing question mark. During startup, this issue usually appears when you turn on your MacBook, but instead of booting normally a flashing folder with the question mark, uh, it means like that your MacBook can't locate the startup disk or boot. There be uh, resulting in a boot of failure if you are going through the same issue on your MacBook. There is a huge possibility that your hard drive on your laptop has failed. All right. Uh, continue watching this video so that you know how to fix this issue. It's worth nothing that the plastic photo with the question mark on your MacBook is a pretty rare sight as far as the causes are concerned. There are only a couple of reasons due to why. Okay, so uh, your MacBook uh, exact like the startup disk or corrupt version of Mac OS can cause the MacBook to display the flashing folder with the question mark all right apart from uh mac os i mean uh the version or the any uh corrupted files you know that you are likely to get this error as well if you are booting from an external disk that disk probably uh, isn't connected properly and this could cause another reason for the folder with that question mark hardware issue could also be the problem not just software, for example, like damaged uh, cables that connected to the motherboard or to drive or the drive itself, it's damaged. Furthermore, if you are getting this issue, the worst case scenario, your logic board or motherboard might also have a flawless. Whatever causes the error, there is a no need to panic as there are ways to fix this issue. Alright, let's begin the video. So let's quickly uh, talk about like the various working solution to fix your macbook passing photo with the question mark if you are using the internal drive to boot your macbook you can simply use the startup manager as your drive may be booting onto the wrong drive or partition all right so once the macbook boots into the startup manager you can easily select the startup disk from the apple menu to initiate a normal boot first of all all you want to shut down your macbook by holding the power button press and hold alt or option key uh, it depends on your macbook version or the year publishing year you know the apple logo starts off on your uh, system you will be promoted to macbook startup manager just select the startup disk using the arrow keys and tap enter once you have selected the right partition or drive the system will start up normally without the flashing question mark folder all right so if you are unable to find the start of this in the recovery window it's quite possible that the hard drive has crashed due to some reasons if that's the case then you can simply use the disk utility feature for that you have a mandatory uh, like it's mandatory to connect your macbook to uh, i mean via internet or ethernet cable or wi-fi use your Wi-Fi, home Wi-Fi or in the phone's hotspot. Firstly, we need to uh, get into recovery mode to do that. Turn off your MacBook by holding the power button, then turn on your MacBook, uh, I mean Mac, and immediately press and hold the command. And the R key, release the key when you see the Apple logo spinning uh, globe or any other startup screen that you may have on your Mac. You may be promoted to enter a password or uh, in such cases like you have to uh, connect uh, internet before do that. Uh, Alright, MacBook enter the requested password to continue when the startup is completed. You will see the uh, untitles window then choose or maybe uh, you won't see any. I mean you can uh, select any utilities because of the corrupted OS. Alright, uh, if you see the Dix utility from the Mac OS utilities window, select the startup Dix, which is typically named uh, Machine Tools HD or I mean uh, Untitled something 
that you have named already click the first eight tab before uh, i mean before choosing any option click the first aid tab and tap the repair icon to repair the startup disk wait for the repairing process to complete and then restart your machine to i mean mac and if it's not booting into the right drive then use my previous step to select the right drive and then boot in if this utility has successfully repaired the startup disk you won't see the uh, macbook flashing folder with that question mark anymore if none of the previous methods work, the only workable solution that will help fix this issue is just to reinstall Mac OS from scratch. However, this method will remove everything from your hard drive, which means that it's nearly uh, really important for you. Like uh, before, do anything. Uh, do backup your data onto an external hard drive so that you don't have to uh, deal with any data loss after erasing the startup disk. You can use a data recovery software or recovery recover to all of your files from your internal hard drive to external storage device. Once the data has successfully recovered, you can put your MacBook into recovery mode and reinstall macOS. Firstly, again, we want to make sure that the MacBook is fully turned off, so make sure that you hold the power button while it's fully turned off. Uh, then turn it on and immediately press the command and R key. To put your MacBook on the recovery mode within the macOS utilities. Alright, click reinstall macOS. In the next window, select the uh, Mac hard drive and it is a previous startup disk. Then just simply follow the on screen instructions to reinstall macOS onto your MacBook. Keep this solution as your last option because you are most likely going to lose all your valuable data. Uh, if you didn't back up, back, I mean, back it up. Then previously, however, if this is the only way to fix the issue, then please make sure that you use recovery tool to restore all your files before reinstalling macOS. At this point, you already know how challenging it can be fixed the flashing folder with the question mark on your MacBook. That's why it's crucial to uh, take prevention measures, I mean pre uh, preventive measures so that you don't uh, run into this issue in the first place to avoid the flashing question mark folder at startup make sure that you press and hold the command and r keys when you reboot your mac in this way your computer will attempt to restart your mac to the recovery partition if this works then it means that you have a good drive that is in good condition then you can use this utility to repair that particular hard drive or partition this will prevent Unexpected hard drive uh, crashes on your laptop will easily find startup disks during its initial boot. Alright, we really hope that this video has uh, helped you get rid of that scary flashing folder with the question mark on your Mac even though it can be a pretty terrifying situation to see this logo on the screen following the right methods it's key to fixing the issue in case you found this video helpful then please hit that like button and leave a comment down below for any new suggestion finally hit that subscribe button to watch more useful videos like this as it is inspired to me uh, make more videos when you support the channel anyway everyone take care and we'll see you in the next one thank you